towards the end of the tournament. Yes, I mean, that's a, that's a likely outcome, I think. Oh, already Ricky starting off, and I was talking about headshots, but this time it's CLG's turn and Glaive. Way too many targets, so that rush into B working perfectly. Five versus three for the retake here. And CLG just have to calm down and play this one slow. They even still have a flashbang and an HG there on Finesse. And there's no kid at the moment, but lovely shot from Device to open back in. They're going to take over this church area. Kusta with one back, and it's Device just going for these continuous peaks. Now, Kusta has been losing this duel most of the time, but they don't even need to take this duel. They're going for some aggressive peaks, and Ricky's going to get rid of Device. Kusta ends this pistol, and, well, you said they needed it to get themselves started. They've got it. We're on the T side. And it was those aggressive pushes that were a little bit weird, whereas on CT, really all they have to do is sit back in their sort of positions and just wait for these angels. But while well, instead, they're going to challenge the top of Banana Kusta, going for a very aggressive push. The rest of his team denied by a Molotov. And while well, a lot of these CTs are just going to say here, Zipix just lining them up, four kills for him, absolutely destroying the attempted take of Banana. And while Cutler, he was left as the lurker over towards those atoms, nowhere near the bomb. He's got a lot of time to try and do some damage. Well done. What can you say about that? Cutler gets shot in the back by Kiebu, and that push very quickly. Oh, oh no, no way. way. How can it be real? I wish we could see the face cam for Kusta there, because honestly, what do you do at that point in time? You just have to accept the idea that that, that just happened. And Device, ready and waiting, Ricky walking into the shot. They're, they're all over the place. They get that kill, they start rotating back, now they're three back on A. It's very hard for CLG to read what's going on right now. And we were pointing this out on Cash, I believe, where we sort of said, if you, if you think that your default is going to be the strongest default, then you may be suffering under some sort of delusion. So maybe try not to do that. They're just leaving them with very little space almost forcing them into the corner. They're just saying, basically, we want you to go this way, and they're obliging. Kirby is waiting as the smoke pushes them towards him. And it does look like they've just been forced into a corner, like caged animals. Ethan will be able to take down Device. First kill in this round for the t but they've got so little time. They don't have the bomb. It's down on the floor. Cutler currently sat with the AWP. Glaive all the way down the back at the moment. And while well, Dupree is just going to be able to take one more down, it's all on to Cutler. He'll lose his life as well. Uh, and now, yeah, it, it, have it, a cake. Yeah. I'll have a meringue. Have I, have I ruined your life just by that? <laughs> you failed. You failed the cake exam by not even answering within the realm of possibilities. It's horrible. This round is looking great, though. Ricky with a couple of good shots, including Ethan, which he managed to take down. Cutler, though, also got a kill. So still a two versus four. Glaive and Sip are miles away. Finesse inside of the library, defending the books bravely at the moment. And Sip will be the last one left. A nice headshot from Finesse. Good job on CLG. They saw the opening, and they Astralis took it again. They're just being allowed to take so much control of this map that they're going to be able to just script exactly where they are. They should know that they're all on Banana at this moment in time. Not really able to find anything whatsoever. Just smoked out. And I'm quite surprised to see that Astralis haven't actually pushed any further. Device not going to be in on that flank, but they do have three players ready and waiting. And Zipix again gets the first two kills. We are going to look for Glaive and Dupree to try and do the rest of the work, but actually we're going to see the bomb go down. Ethan able to get one. Finesse is gone, and well, it's now all on Ethan. He has everything to do. A nice little spot actually on the top of the boxes, unless they push from CT, which is slowly coming in. He's actually going to drop off, and Dupree is just waiting at the moment, waiting for his team to come back in. Ethan desperately trying to isolate him in this scenario, but he just can't. They're going to push in together, take this as a team, and it's going to be very, very difficult. But they don't have a kit, so maybe if he could just bait oh, out a little longer. Glaive on the B bomb side towards top banana. It's a pretty good setup here for Astralis. Maybe a good way to actually counter the fact that they don't have much utility is the fact that they're just all here waiting. At the moment, the push is going to come through, and again, through smokes is where the damage is done. Dupree and Co just doing so much. Ethan being able to trade something back at least. A couple of kills, the bomb will go down, so keeping them secure for the next round. AWP still stands on Kusta, but they're just waiting for that rotation of Glaive. They're going to take this as a three versus two, and Ethan in this corner 
he has to hit the shot onto Glaive. And the problem is, he also has the spot from Dupree. He almost takes him down with him. But Kusta now, he's got everything left to play with. AWP manages the first with the Deagle, looking for a little bit more. The bomb ticks away and he gets it as well. Kusta with the Deagle doesn't even need that all. Like sort of diamond amongst the rough. They're actually going to go for this push now. Device left blind. He goes for the flick shot. The jump does come in. Uh, he couldn't resist the temptation. And while spotting that AWP, at least one player is going to fall back. But they're leaving themselves very thin on time. And this is the problem. There's still so much utility left on Astralis. They're holding it till these remaining 30 seconds. And, well, the fake's going to be trying thrown in from color, but really seeing anything else. There's two, two players on this site and while Device is going to pick off one, the push coming in from Zipix with the flash. Sheer confidence from this man. And they have so little time again. He's got that incendiary down with 10 seconds left on the clock. And this round is done. There's nothing that the rest of the players could do because that incendiary is just sat at that bottom bit of banana. Yeah, Cutler low on health. Time has run out. Are they really going to try and chase him? Poor Cutler. He will be going down after the time has run out. Take one guy with me at least and then worry about the next afterwards. Nice headshot from Finesse, but Dupree with the line up there. So still a three on three and Kebi denying the bomb pickup and Ethan out of the round. It is going to be back to that two versus two, however. A much faster round coming out from CLG. The bomb, however, is down. And there's a crossfire set up waiting. The flash is going to be avoided by Glaive. However, he is somewhat alone as the fullback has come in from his teammate of Zipix, but they're not actually going to be checking the angle whatsoever. Cutler able to get one, but don't expect the second. Astralis bring it back to an 8-7 half. Still those moments where you just think, okay, that's where it's more in turn. And actually, four players on B. This is a really nice read coming out from CLG. The problem is, it's diminishing. Finesse manages one, but now there is only two players left in this crossfire. Ethan is one of them, and he gets the first and takes down Dupree as well, leaving only two Astralis players left alive. And look at the flank already in from Ricky. Gets the first kill, takes the head clean off, and now it's all on to Zipix, looking to try and at least take down the flanking man, but it doesn't work. And that is a really nice pistol round from CLG. Yeah, fantastically done. That's such a good read. You're absolutely right. A big risk to take, but if you're playing, you're playing Astralis, you've got to do this. And here's the thing, right? It, even, even at the level of Astralis, you know, you run in and you take those first two kills, you're mentally you're thinking, that's it. That's all, yeah. all there is. And that, that moment of, of sort of, of overconfidence is what allows Ethan to get the next two kills like that because they just weren't ready for it. Entry, but uh, Ethan actually on the boost spot which obviously we know, we've already seen the pre-fire through the wall to his left, and he's going to be left completely blind, but Cutler, there to defend him, will get the first pick of the ge of the round. Sorry, not of the game. That would be very impressive. He's <laughs> waited a long time. We're right inside the bomb side here. Ricky and Finesse have got a bit of a setup, and Astralis don't have that many grenades to break it with, so I like this. Ricky's going to have the primary focus, even Kusta and Ethan going to start to rotate on in. It might be too much though. Look at Glaive and Sip. They've cleared out top mid and oh no, Ethan. A battle that it looked like he would have won nine times out of ten. But this time Glaive just going to hit the headshot and that leaves Cutler in the pit and he's in such a lot of trouble. He goes for that peak and he gets the headshot on Kirby. Almost unreal. Now down to eight seconds. Where's that bomb plant coming from? Finally, they're going to be able to put it down with just three seconds left in device. Falling off the ledge and Glaive hitting the headshot, leaving Finesse and Rike here. Two versus three. If they can get this retake, then my god, it's going to be close for Astralis. But CLG, a man down and trying to sneak in. Glaive low on health. One, in fact, and Finesse looking for it. Ow. But Glaive steps out. There's the quad kill and the headshot as well. And Ricky's going to have to make a run for it. What a round for Glaive. I think the worst thing Yes, indeed. No more grenades for the Astralis side. Glaive is holding close now. CLG, can they get this retake? Four versus five. Got to do it before Dupree shows up. There's one grenade coming out. Dupree shooting one in the back. And Device and Kebu. Finally, Kebu in the round as well. And that leaves Cutler. One versus three. Has to just fall back into construction. But he can't even. He's going to have to fight his way out of this if he wants to try and stay alive. Spraying a bit there. But that's going to be the end of it. And that fact, Kebu finds three kills in the round. The thing is as well, the, the way they look to be playing this sort of round is more of a pick style of play with the AWPs. And we've already seen how that didn't work on Cash, <laughs> where they were just trying to pick versus Device and he just likes these sort of duels. Push in, double comes in from Ethan, looking for that triple as well. And he still has support on the side from Cutler, who manages a double of his own. Now it's all onto Glaive, nothing Beautiful. to be done. And again, we saw this when they played Train. 
Ethan and Cutler as a crossfire, they do very well together. They haven't been able to Damn punish it me. yet, and this could be a real problem for the Danish side. CLG really starting to step it up now. Device being boosted up and even making the jump up. Is he going to try and get up to the rooftop? Still waiting. 24 seconds. This is not good. Oh, oh no! no! Device taking down Clave. Mutiny in the Danish ranks. Now is the time for CLG to strike. Surely, if ever there was one, Dupree comes down with a spray on Cutler. Backup needs to be called for. Ethan going to be going down. Nine seconds left. CLG. Can they hold on here? Finesse is dropped next in line. Device trying to make up for his earlier transgression. And oh, he gets Ricky trying to escape as well. Couldn't even make it into the library. And Kusta goes down. Triple Still managing kill. to Quarter. just find all of the picks when pushing into the site, leaving it down to very, very little. The jumble sale by in play at the moment for CLG. Device, oh, he's wall banged this so many times, actually gets caught. That will be an AWP down. Kirby's just going to try and Molotov it off for now, and actually they're just going to go straight rotating back towards this A site. There's two players currently in pit. Oh, wrapping round, almost getting hit by the timing again, but Dupree will be able to win that duel. It's almost unbelievable, because if Ricky is just a bit quicker, he's going to catch Glaive looking the wrong way. Glaive is looking in towards CT spawn, so incredibly unfortunate. There now two people down in Pit, Cutler and Kusta. Good spray from Dupree will take down one, and Kusta's going to fall as well. Finesse and Ethan. It looks like this might be the end. It's going to be a tough retake, and I wish Ethan could at least find a gun to make it a reasonable fight here. Finesse going to go the long way around. Not necessarily a bad idea, but... We can see Glaive already has figured that out, at least that it's a possibility. Ethan going to maybe try and flash his teammate in. There's one flashbang, another one going deep. Finesse is down, and Ethan, no chance at all. It's going to be 16-13 here, favoring Astralis, which means they're going to face...